Hello everyone, my name is Timothy. Welcome back to my role-playing game channel. So, uh, as you can see here, I got my Game Universe Sandbox 2 loaded up. And I uh, wanted to give you a little tour of the Timiverse, as I like to call it. So what we have here is uh, we have a sun. Obviously, it's just like our sun. And then um, what we have here is a couple of really uh, main planets here. They, as you can see, they got all kinds of stuff around them. So let's start with this one up on the top here, if I can... There we are. This one with a really long name. It's called uh, Momu Ropla Tebiga, is uh, how I pronounce it. It's uh, basically a big gas giant. Let's see if I can pull it up for you here. So yeah, it's a 20.6 Jupiter. has a radius of 19,270 kilometers. Surface temperature right now is 14.7 degrees Celsius. Don't worry, that's going to change. Uh... Let's see, it's uh, circling the sun around 29.7 kilometers per second. Uh, let's see, it's uh, 1,495,978 kilometers away from the sun. It, that's about 1 AU, it's pretty close. has an orbital period of 355 days. It's a little less than here on Earth. Let's see, over here, uh, as you can see, this is the iron, silicate, water, and hydrogen content that it has. Uh, it's iron is solid. It's silicate solid. It's water is solid liquid, and uh, it's hydrogen is all gas right now. It's uh, escape velocity. You have to be traveling 209 kilometers per second to get off this planet, so pretty fast. Right now, it's 48.3% similar to Earth and has a 37.9% li likelihood of life. And uh, this will be pretty much the same thing as uh, that other planet on the south. But uh, we'll get to that in a minute. So, All right, so we're going to zoom out here. Now, orbiting this big, massive honking planet here, we have these other larger planets. Uh, well, I guess they're not larger than that, but they're, I say, larger than Earth. Uh, and as you can see, they look like Earth. Uh, anyway, they are 81 times the mass of Earth, so uh, you're probably not going to live too well on this place. These ones are a little warmer. And uh, let's see, they're uh, orbiting a little slower around the sun, but that's because they're orbiting this place. So let's see, uh, what's our... Uh, they orbit the big planet about every 32.3 uh, days. And uh, this is, see, they are solid, solid, solid liquid. About the same right now. Their escape velocity is only 48.4 kilometers per second, so about a quarter of what you need on the big place. They're a little more similar to Earth at 73.2% and have a higher chance of uh, life likelihood at 65.8%. And each one of these, now let's see, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 of these 81 mass planets here. 81 times the mass of Earth. And then uh, if we close in a little more. So this one here, this uh, goofy one called Free Air Spadum. This one has a Dohu, May and Sha as its three moons. These are actual Earth-sized planets. See here, one Earth. And uh, they're about the same temperature right now. They are uh, going around uh, this planet at about four kilometers per second at an average orbital period of 30.7 days. Their escape velocity should be just like Earth at 11.2 kilometers per second. And, uh, well, they're 100% uh, similar to Earth because they are Earth. Basically, just Earth with a different name. And uh, they have a really high uh, chance for uh, life at 99.5%. This one here has three. This one only has one. This one has one. This one has one. This one has one. Tasturu here, I believe, has five. Uh, let's see. Maga has one. We the Koa has three. Pabu here, I think, has like 13. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, 10, 11. I guess I have 12. So I, don't know, I was I thinking 13. Anyway, uh, Waiwopu over here also has quite a few, about 10. Uh, Wienga has one. Sword and So Stew. Uh, sword and, so and So Stew uh, has two. Artaga has one. Higa has one. And Paipu has one. And uh, basically, each of these little ones that are Earth size have their own moon that's the same size as our moon. Although, uh, I can tell you there's probably no life there as there's no life on our moon. But oh, it looks like this one says it's 65%. But anyway, it's uh, the size of one moon. It's uh, about 15 degrees. It uh, goes around every 32.7. And it's... Uh, Got a speed of 966 meters per second. So it's uh, going around a little slower. So anyway, that's uh, this place now. If you haven't figured it out already. The Mo in Momu uh, Ropla Tebiga stands for movies. The Mu stands for music. Ropla stands for role playing. Te stands for television. And Biga stands for video games. So basically all these places here represent at least some facet of all that. So let's go up here to this one here. Uh, free error sped atom is uh, basically uh, stands for Fridorian Aerodyne Space Administration, which is basically uh, what the an acronym of FASA stands for. FASA is a role-playing game published in that comes out with several role-playing games. And uh, role-playing games they include are the Doctor Who role-playing game, just like the Doctor Who uh, television series that's uh, done by BBC. Uh, they also do the Mech Warrior uh, role-playing game, which uh, comes from the Battletech uh, board game. And uh, they have their, a few Mech Warrior video games out there. SHA stands for Shadowrun, and uh, there are Shadowrun games out there. And, uh, of course, over here we have WIPU, which stands for WIT Publications. They came out with a World Wrestling Federation basic adventure game. And uh, there are plenty of uh, professional wrestling games based off World Wrestling Federation. Uh, Vega Inc. stands for uh, Victory Games Incorporated, and they could put forth a James Bond 007 game. Tafoga stands for Task Force Games. Uh, they have a... Uh, a uh, role-playing game called Prime Directive, which uh, is an offshoot of their board game called uh, Star Starfleet Battles. It's obviously set in the Star Trek universe. The uh, Starfleet Battles uh, comes from the... Uh, is actually evolved from Star Trek the original series and Star Trek the animated series. And uh, La Unga is Last Unicorn Games. They came out with Star Trek The Next Generation uh, role-playing game. They, they were supposed to come out with other ones, too, like Deep Space Nine and Voyager, but they got canceled. So that's the only one I have is Star Trek The Next Generation. Uh, Tasturu uh, stands for Tactical Study Rules, and that's uh, what you might know as TSR. Uh, my Marvel Super Heroes role-playing game comes from that. Basic Dungeons and Dragons, Advanced Dungeons and Dragons, or First Edition, as some people call it. AD&D Second Edition, and then this one is called Top Secret. It's kind of like uh, uh, a TSR version of James Bond, I guess I'd call it. MAGA stands for Mayfair Games, and uh, they came out with a DC Heroes role-playing game. Uh, we of the Koa, you probably guessed as Wizards of the Coast. And uh, they came out with a Star Wars role-playing game. They came out with a Dungeons and Dragons 3.5. And then they came out with a Fallout role-playing game. Urkroen stands for Iron Crown Enterprises. They have the Middle Earth role-playing game or role-playing system, which is called MURPS. Uh, for those of you who know what Middle Earth is, that uh, involves uh, the Lord of the Rings kind of stuff and the Hobbit. And then uh, Ro here actually stands for Role Master. Pabu stands for Palladium Books, and they have several. They have uh, the Robotech role-playing game. They have Palladium Fantasy. Oh, there's one hiding in the... This is a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles role-playing game, that one hiding there. And then you have Palladium Fantasy, Heroes Unlimited, Ninjas and Super Spies, Beyond the Supernatural, Nightbane, Chaos Earth, uh, 
You have Dead Rain, which is kind of like a zombie kind kind of a place. Uh, Splicers is, uh, I guess it's similar to the Terminator storyline. Uh, basically, robots are taking over the world, and uh, people use alien A to make uh, make themselves able to fight. Over here is Rifts, and then this is a game called Recon, and that's basically kind of like a Vietnam era war game kind of a thing. Waiwopu stands for White Wolf Publications. Any of you who are familiar with that know that they uh, do a lot of kind of like with the classic movie monsters. But uh, they did make a Street Fighter role-playing game. <laughs> uh, and just like a most things Street Fighter, it's uh, uh, it, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, yeah, Vampire the Mask, Mage the Ascension, the Open, uh, Changeling the Dreaming, Hunter the Resurrection, Mum, or no, actually that's Hunter the Reckoning, excuse me. That's uh, Mummy the Resurrection. Uh, let's see, where's the other one hiding at? We have Promethean the Created, and I think there's supposed to be a demon. Oh, there it is. Demon the Fallen. There's a lot of little moons around here. So Over here, we have uh, Wet Games, and they came out with a Hercules the Legendary Journeys and Xena Warrior Princess role-playing game. Uh, let's see, over here, we have Sword and, S Sword and Sorcery Studios. I don't know why I have such trouble saying that. And they came out with an EverQuest game and a World of Warcraft game. Uh, just like the uh, online MMOs that you've heard about. Artaga stands for Art uh, Talsorian Games. They did a Cyberpunk 2020 RPG. And uh, I'm eagerly awaiting the Cyberpunk uh, 2077 to come out. Higa stands for Hero Games. And they did a uh, game called Champions. The one I have is the 4th edition. And uh, of course, uh, if you know about the MMO Champions Online. Paipu stands for uh, Paizo Publications, and anyone who knows about Paizo knows they did uh, an RPG called Pathfinder. There is a video game out there called Pathfinder King Maper, and uh, they did do a Kickstarter one for Pathfinder Online several years before that. So that's basically my uh, RPG thing. I'm going to have them go up against... Oops, that's not it. Here we are. I'm going to have them go up against uh, this place called Straviga. Basically, Stravigo stands for Strategy Video Games. And basically, uh, this one here is uh, Age of Mythology. This one is going to be just basically Civilization. I have a lot of different Civilization games. I have uh, Sid Meier's uh, Alpha Centauri. I have Civ 2, Civ Call the Power, Call the Power 2, Civ 4, Civ 5. So I got a lot of different Civilizations to choose from. Over here is uh, Birth of the Federation. It's a Star Trek game, obviously. Uh, this one stands for Blood Bowl. <laughs> uh, over here, we have a Command and Conquer kind of a place. This one here has a... Uh, I think it's called Galactic Civilizations 2, the Dreadlords. Over here, we have a Pharaoh and Cleopatra. This P, what's this one? I'll have to look that one up. Hang on a second. Let me take a look here. P, P, P. P -I -P -I oh, Pirates. Sid Meier's Pirates. So there we are. Over here we have Spore. This here is uh, probably a S StarCraft. Yeah, that's StarCraft. Okay, so yeah, that's uh, StarCraft. This one is uh, Starfleet Command. This one is uh, Star Wars Galactic Battlegrounds. This one is SWAT. This one is Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator, and this is Worms. So those are my strategy games that I have. And uh, I'm going to have them go, and uh, they're going to build themselves a big old space fleet, and they're going to send all their troops, and they're going to come up here and try and conquer this place up here, all these places here. So I don't know, maybe you guys might like to see a little story about that someday. Um, who knows, maybe you'd like to see it on like a big screen or something. Uh, if you would, feel free to, you know, leave a comment. Tell me what you think. See if this is something you might be interested in. Uh, you know, if you want to maybe fund it into like a uh, a low-budget movie someday, you can feel free to uh, uh, visit my Patreon. I'll leave a link in the description. And, uh, you know, I'd just like to thank you for your time and uh, hope you have a good day. Thanks. Bye.